Stupid, guys. I didn't Is this camera on me? Yes, it's on. That's stupid. Use your common sense. Quit playing. Robert. I didn't do this stuff. This is not me, y'all. I'm fighting for my life. Y'all killing me with this I gave y'all 30 years of my career. Robert. 30 years of my career. Y'all trying to kill me. Hey, guys, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed my little TikTok promo video that I told you guys I was working on. And I'm going to show you how I installed that beautiful curly highlighted wig. And it is provided by You Nice Hair. This highlighter wig was super, super dope, super pretty. It was definitely giving, you know, Yonce vibes. Definitely, definitely. And because the hair is already brown, like at the roots, you really don't have to bleach the knots. But I do recommend that you do go in and pluck a little bit more. That way you can have more of a, uh, more of a natural hairline. So, I did go ahead and do that, and I will be showing you guys how to create a waterproof um, install, waterproof, sweatproof, uh, resistant install on yourself. So, for starters, I already have my ball cap method on. I mean, you know, my ball cap on and everything like that. But I will do an updated waterproof video with a like start to finish with the whole braid down and everything. So, make sure you guys do have the notifications turned on for that. But we're going to go ahead and get started. As you guys see, I do have my ball cap on already in this video. So the first thing I'm doing is just placing the wig onto my head. And I'm cutting off the extra lace off the sides. Um, I usually do this step after I beat on tack the wig down. But I just decided to do it first just to make sure that the wig actually, you know, fits my head perfectly. So now that I did that, I went ahead and before I even, you know, started this video... And clean my hairline with the 99% alcohol so you did see me just take some of that uh, skin protectant and just spray it on the front of my hairline so now that I have that on there and I let that you know pretty much dry into place I am taking that Ruby Kisses foundation and applying it on the inside of my lace and I'm just gonna go ahead and get started with the layers now for this install if you are a person um, who does sweat not a little bit but like a lot like a heavy sweater or you work where you always you know maybe in the sun a lot or you know you just a person who wants you know like to get your hair wet and everything like that I highly recommend five to seven layers okay seven being the max do not exceed seven layers honestly um, because just don't <laughs> like just don't um and don't worry because I know some people are like, ooh, that's a lot of layers. But we do have our lace remover that can help you safely remove your lace. And it is a oil-based remover, which is, you know, actually good because you're not drying your, you know, your skin or your hair follicles and none of that out. You will actually be able to remove your wig nice and safely. And as I mentioned, it is oil-based. So for a waterproof slash sweat-resistant install, there are a few key points that you want to focus on. First of all, you want to make sure that you are applying enough glue um, for each layer and you are spreading that glue about an inch wide. I like to say about half an inch onto the cap and the other half of the inch onto like your skin hairline area because you really want to make sure that you are applying enough glue width wise that way you have like a nice foundation to what your wig is laying on and it will you know help maintain that wig to stay on in place and also as you go through each layer you want to spread that glue out as neat and as flat as possible that way you will have an easy transition on adding more um, glue between each layer and um, it was another tip I wanted to give you guys. You want to make sure that you do not skip that very, very first important step, which is cleaning that hairline. Some of you guys try to skip over this step and you just cannot. You have to make sure that you do clean that skin because 
having oily skin or makeup or dirt like all of those things prevent your lace from sticking so before you even begin your sweat proof or waterproof install make sure that you clean that hairline thoroughly I typically clean my hairline at least two times before applying my lace and three times if I have on makeup before I actually do my wig install so the key factor make sure your skin is clean and to make sure you are spreading, um, you are applying enough glue between each layer. And key number three, make sure you are spreading it out nice and evenly. And number four, which is the most important, make sure you are using enough layers. Now, I do have a video if you just want to do a nice little light hold where it's one or two layers. Um, and I've done some regular hold videos, you know, three to four. That's, you know, get you a couple weeks you know wearing in but if you really want that like baby <laughs> stuck like chuck waterproof sweat proof you do need to use five to seven layers okay and in this video specifically i use six layers and honestly you can still achieve a waterproof um install without even using six layers and i will do that in uh, the updated start to finish uh, waterproof video that I want to do which will include the braid down and the ball cap method so um, make sure you guys like I mentioned stay tuned for that but however now that I have that last layer on um, and it has turned clear I'm gonna go ahead and pull my lace right into that glue and trust me y'all <laughs> it don't matter how many layers you are using for your install once you place that lace into that glue it's secure it's just that's just what it is it's gonna be secure it's gonna stick you are gonna be fine and honestly like I mentioned all the time it is hard to install your own wigs on yourself so the fact that you actually can have a glue product that actually sticks and you don't have to worry about your wig flying up every time you try to stick it down it just makes the whole process so much easier okay so wig is secured and now I'm just going to take the blow dryer on the heat setting and I'm just going to blow dry that lace right on in but do y'all see the color tones in this wig it is super super pretty like you have your main color which is like a nice little sandy brown and then I see some highlights of 613 and some highlights of 27 and this wig was super full in density like I love a full curly wig now it's kind of tricky in this video because the finishing look that I did like um, for the um, event that I was going to the next day because I did this about you know really late at night and then I woke up and I had to go to a networking event and I actually <laughs> switched the style um so in this video you will see like me finishing off this tutorial with, like the little top ponytail and the two little curly strips in the front but for the event that I actually attended, I ended up making it a regular side part, like what you've seen in the beginning in my TikTok video. So, y'all, this video was a little all over the place. I'm not even going to lie, but I still decided to bring you guys this content anyways because no content goes to waste. Um, it might be something in this video that you needed to see that I did not show in another video. So that's why I still decided to drop this video. So like I mentioned, um, towards the end, you will see me doing one style. But my final look with my makeup and everything will be the side part that you've seen in the beginning of this video with that TikTok. So um, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this video so far. Now that you see, I tied it down with that melt belt and I let it sit. I just went in with that lace glider and I'm just razoring off all of that extra lace. Now you have to be careful because this wasn't no HD lace, okay? And it wasn't transparent lace. It had somewhat, it was given like a light brown, maybe medium um, lace color to me. So um, I did not want to go with a foundation that was too dark. So I went in with the foundation just that I normally use just not as much because it's easily to make my lace look too dark so um now that i cut that extra lace off before i add more foundation um to make it blend just a little bit better um i am going to just tack down those little cracks 
and crevices that are still lifting on the edges that I did not get to apply the glue to, which is totally normal, y'all. We all know everything don't get tacked down the first time. Sometimes you gotta go back in on those edges and work that glue in there, but once I get everything tacked down, I will go ahead and uh, pull down the hairs in the front for my uh, baby hairs, and then I'm going to add a little foundation, the same color I use, just um, to darken, not really darken the lace, but to just blend the lace in more. And then I will show you guys how I created my baby hairs, which I wasn't the biggest fan of in this video. I'm not gonna lie y'all, but I'm still gonna show you guys how I created my baby hairs using our newest product, the um, Glueless and Baby Hair Gel. So the Lace Melt Liquid Gel, okay? So don't get the Lace Melt Liquid Gel and the Lace Melt Adhesive mixed up. One is a glue, one is a gel, okay? So I will be using that Lace Melt Liquid Gel to construct the baby hairs, so just uh, stay tuned for more. And yeah, you guys will see it.
So now that I went ahead and removed that milk belt, I'm just going to take that lace spider once again and just go ahead and um, begin to raise it down the baby hairs. And then I'm going to go in with that uh, lace melt liquid gel and just go ahead and do my baby hairs. So um, the key to baby hairs really is just making sure that, well, it depends. To me, honestly, there's no right or wrong way to do baby hairs. Let me just say that because everybody likes um, their baby hairs differently. So you can't say the way somebody do some baby hairs is wrong. Some people like their baby hairs shorter. Some people like their baby hairs thinner. Some people like their baby hairs fuller. Some people like the fluffy, messy baby hair. Some people like their baby hairs soft. Some people like their baby hairs, you know, a little more firmer in place. So there's really no right or wrong way. Just do baby hairs the way I guess that you like. And as far as like working on a client, you could ask them like the kind of baby hairs they want. Or some, you know, some clients just be like, girl, just do your thing, whatever you do, you know, fine with me. Because clearly I've seen your work. So there's no right or wrong way. But this little thing that I'm doing here. Um, is a tip that Eric and Tay released in his class. I didn't take the class, y'all, but I know somebody else was going to spill the beans on YouTube, child. <laughs> of course. So, this is a technique that Eric and Tay use. Now, you have a choice of curling your baby hairs upward, um, which is a little more safer because you, I, I, I really curl it underneath, but when I'm doing like a client, but for myself, yeah, I'm going to curl it upwards because I ain't trying to burn my forehead or whatever like that. Especially because it's already hard enough to do this in a mirror or in a phone camera and trying to get it right. So, if you can, guys, go ahead and purchase you like that. Really, really, I don't even know what kind of flat iron it is, but it's really, really tiny. It's perfect to curl the baby hairs before you style them which will make it easier for you to actually swoop them instead of trying to create the swoops on your own with just like your product and your uh, fingers. Curling the baby hairs before you actually um, style them helps. And if you really like the fluff, the fluffy baby hairs, I would say curl them upward because once you swoop it, the hair will kind of fluff, you know, like to the side easy. Or you can... um curl them underneath it's just i don't know it just be a little different sometimes i guess it depends but um i'm just trying to go for simple baby hairs today y'all like i wasn't really trying to do the most um and i was just really trying to be done to be honest because like i mentioned it was late and i know i had to be up early to go to that uh networking event but um yeah i am using the baby hair gel and I'm just going in, swooping and smoothing, swooping and smoothing until I get a desired baby hair look. And then once I am done with that, I will go ahead and get into the styling.
and as I mentioned like earlier in this video the style I did here and the style that was actually my final look for the next day was two totally different styles but I still decide to show this part of the video just in case you actually want to wear your hair in this look now I did this style before for my birthday earlier this year and the hair was just like um really really it was just longer and it was just in a natural color and I think I just did like less baby hairs so pretty much, um, even though this is not a full lace frontal with full parting space, I still kind of finessed it to look like it was. So um, the tracks start higher on the sides because like I mentioned, it's not a full lace frontal. So I kind of had to like pull the hair up and then pull the hair in the back where the tracks was to kind of like hide the tracks so you don't see it. Um, so, um, pretty much I just grabbed some of the hair in the front. I ain't really care to make no straight parts or nothing in the back because it's not no full frontal. But once I got it, um, to where I wanted it, I just used a little, um, I just used my wax stick and just a little holding spray to kind of like mold and smooth everything into place. So you can just do the same thing that I did here. And I'm also just using like a rubber band to secure it. And then I'm going to kind of pull it tight just to you know make sure it was nice and secure and i am going to get these curls like defined using our define me curling mousse from our um you know from my collection but before i get into that let me just go ahead and you know smooth this ponytail area up just a little bit i didn't want to make it super hard because i know it's going to end up changing the look anyways but um just you know i just did it kind of neat enough so you guys can get the picture here so um i am going to take a little piece to do the wrap around the ponytail because i really hate when rubber bands show on these type of styles it's better to just blend <laughs> that rubber band in with the real hair by doing a little um wrap around that you would if you were doing like a regular a weave ponytail so i just take a thin layer at holding spray and i just keep wrapping until that rubber band is invisible and i just go in with the blow dryer and just blow dry it so it's like yeah gone okay so now that i did that um like i mentioned i'm just going to take the mousse and i'm just going to add some of that mousse to the hair to define the curls and then i had kind of did like a hold on wait i'm not done yet you know i do a little transition because you're supposed to come back on with your like face beat and stuff yeah, I'm going to do that, but um, it's going to be a whole new hairstyle, so just beware. Like, this is pretty much what you're going to get as far as the final look for this, because once I add that mousse, um, that's pretty much going to be it. And y'all, did y'all get the mousse? Oh my God, y'all smell so good. Don't it smell good, y'all? And don't it get them curls popping? You see how I just took that mousse and I combed it right into that hair and it get those, you know, it got those curls nice and popping and defined so i'm just gonna do a little bit of that towards the ends of the ponytail and the hair to just um define it i don't really want the wet look um i just really don't like the wet look for these type of styles like i feel like if you're gonna do the ponytail it should be nice full and fluffy but to each his own so i'm just gonna add mousse and no water whatsoever um just to define those curls and then like i mentioned i would do the whole look i'm supposed to go and come back but it be face but it's gonna be a whole new look so uh just stay tuned for the finishing results
finishes that look but I'm gonna go and come back with my regular look that I brought you out on a little white bead um so this is actually how I wore my hair to the networking event but overall I hope you guys still enjoyed this video thank you guys for watching and I have another video coming so stay tuned